audio tip test 12 stranded passengers you will hear an audio script concerning a mission related topic this script will be followed by a conversation between two persons this conversation will relate to the script you will hear the tape only once you will make notes of the script and of the conversation from these notes you will be instructed to answer either 10 questions or complete a written report on the incident good luck on Sunday, the 25th of September, 2005, at 0600 hours, two men, simply known as Victor and Alex, came to the UN police station at Greenville in Seno County. They reported that a passenger vessel, the MV Marvelous, left Harper in Maryland County on Wednesday, the 21st of September, 2005, at 1325 hours, headed for Monrovia. On its way to Monrovia, the said vessel developed an engine problem somewhere around Cetra Crew, grid reference 493155, a day after departure. Cetra Crew is a small town located about 15 kilometers from Greenville. The two men who brought the report happened to be passengers on board the vessel, but managed to come ashore by boat. According to them, the ship was carrying more than 150 people, including women and children. Most of these passengers were refugees, recently returned from Ivory Coast to take part in the presidential elections coming up in October 2005. The captain of the ship, who was simply identified as Junior, was said to be helpless as the children on board the ship were constantly vomiting. There was no medical doctor, no medicine, no food, and no drinking water on board. It was feared this could lead to severe dehydration and a possible disaster. Therefore, urgent help was needed. The team leader of the UN police in Greenville organized an emergency meeting of all UN police officers. Also in attendance were the heads of UN civil affairs and UNMIL Security, Chief of Liberian National Police in Greenville, and some county officials. They all met to find a solution to this problem. It was resolved in the meeting that the Ethiopian military commander be contacted for assistance. The UN police team leader, together with Chief of UN Security, met the commander who gave out some food items and drinking water. He ordered the head of his medical unit to personally lead a medical team to the vessel. Leaders of the Ghanaian Fanti fishing community were met by the civil affairs team and the county authorities to assist with canoes and men to rescue the stranded passengers. The rescue team left Greenville at about 1130 hours with men in 15 canoes and four small motor boats. At 16.45 hours, they returned with all the passengers except the captain and three engineers who were left behind to work on the ship. They were given enough food and drinking water to sustain them while they carried out the repairs. Three of the children, one boy and two girls, were critically ill. They were admitted to the Ethiopian Battalion Medical Center. At 1400 hours on 27 September 2005, the UN police team leader visited the medical center and was glad to hear that the three children were fully recovered and had been discharged. He then went to see the commander of the battalion to show appreciation for his assistance. It was while he was still discussing this with the commander that one of the engineers came to inform them that the ship was okay and ready to sail. He also informed them that there was no need for them to worry about how to get passengers back to the ship as the ship had been brought to Greenville, a walking distance from the military base. When the passengers heard this news, they were all very happy and anxious to leave. By 1625 hours, the ship was on the high sea heading to Monrovia. 
The following is a conversation between a newly arrived UN police officer and an officer in Greenville, Unpole Station. This station appears to be very busy. I heard some people talking about some passengers that were stranded sometime in September 2005. Can you please tell me more about this incident? Yes, I remember this case very well. It was about a ship that developed an engine problem somewhere near Cetra Crew. Grid reference 493155. How did the UN police get to know about this ship? Two men, Victor and Alex, who were passengers on the ship, managed to come ashore with the boat to report the incident to us. How many people were on board and where was the ship going with these people? There were 150 passengers in the ship, including women and children. The ship departed Harper in Maryland County on 21st September 2005 and was heading to Monrovia. I recall that most of the passengers were refugees that had just come back from Ivory Coast to participate in the October 2005 elections. Why did the men come to report in Greenville instead of Harper? Is there no station in Harper? Cetra Crew is 15 kilometers from Greenville. In fact, it is closer to Greenville than Harper, which is far away Maryland County. How long had the ship traveled before developing this problem? And what date was it that these men came to the station? The ship developed engine problem one day after departure and the men came to the station on Sunday, 25th September 2005. Why did Victor and Alex come to the UN police station? They come to ask for assistance because the children on board were said to be frequently vomiting and there was no medical doctor, no food, medicine, or even drinking water. They were afraid that the vomiting could lead to dehydration and a possible disaster. I know that we do not have any of these things. Were you able to find a solution to this? The UN police team leader organized an emergency meeting that was attended by all the UN police officers, heads of UN civil affairs, UN Mill Security, Chief of Liberian National Police, and some county officials. What was the outcome of this meeting? It was resolved that the Ethiopian military commander be contacted for assistance. I know this commander well enough to know that the needed help was rendered immediately. Oh yes, he immediately provided food and water. He also ordered the head of his medical unit to personally lead a team to the vessel. How were you able to evacuate all 150 passengers from the vessel? The head of UN Civil Affairs and the county officials met the Ghanaian Fenty Fishing Community who provide men as well as 15 canoes and four small motor boats that were used in evacuating the passengers. What time did the rescue team leave and when did they return? They left at 11.30 hours and returned at 16.45 hours. Were all the passengers in good condition? One boy and two girls were critically ill and were admitted in the Ethiopian military hospital. What happened next? When the UN police team leader visited the hospital on 27th of September 2005, he was pleased to hear that the children were fully recovered and discharged from the hospital. I heard them say that the vessel was eventually repaired. Yes, as the team leader was with the commander, one of the engineers came to inform them that the ship was now okay and ready to go. Were the passengers taken back to the ship in the same canoes and motorboats? This was not necessary because the ship had been brought to Greenville. 
the passengers had to walk. It was a short distance from the military base. How did the passengers react to this news? They were very happy and anxious to leave. That was a job well done. You all must have been very happy too. Sure, we were all very happy because there was no life lost and even the children that were ill all got well before the departure.